Okay guys, I'm back and I am Deb Chanel 48 Square and you're here for another interesting video and co my commentary of course. Whew. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel guys. Let's grow me up, okay? And if you like it, love it, and you got to have more videos from me, please don't hesitate to like share and subscribe to the channel we're gonna shout out jasmine brand we're gonna shout out the shade room and every other video i've used other people's pictures so they don't get on me please go to their channel all right but i'm like whitney houston you look like a nut boy she look like a little nut running around here girl spending money on a man you don't even know really okay i think you're just in love to be in love but the headline news for today in the celebrity entertainment world, Portia Williams, okay, she forgets about tradition and she buys her fiance an engagement ring. I'm like, what? You ain't buy Dennis no engagement ring. What's up with that, Portia? Where have you been getting your schooling from? Definitely like not Miss Diane, unless Miss Diane just tried to tell you how to marry rich, okay? And staying in your culture. Because <laughs> I'm like, girl. Woo. Just because he put a rock on your finger. He might want that ring back. Because I think Fallon had to get her ring back to him. He ain't want her to keep it. I, I could be wrong. If we have any fact checkers in the house. Please let me know. Did Fallon give her ring back to Simon? <clears throat> when they divorced? <coughs> or was that a keepsake? But shout Portia Williams, honey. Shout out to the shade room. <laughs> and I'm getting my information uh, when I'm reading a report or a commentary from Essence Magazine. That's how hot it's gotten. I don't know. Yeah, that's a little, it looks like that band a little bit too tight for Simon. Like Portia, 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 Portia. Seems like she got it from uh, Family Dollar, not Family Dollar, Walmart. I don't know what Portia doing over there. Uh, she probably bought it in Nigeria. Who knows? Okay. Who knows with Portia these days? And then she probably got a discount. I, I don't know. But Portia loves to stay in the news, honey. She loves staying in the news, child. And I'm... See, I just can't take Portia serious. Because she was serious about holding on... To her engagement with Dennis McKinley. Okay. And I'm like. Girl. He has. Meaning Simon. Has some of the still. Uh, male traits. Of a cheater. Okay. Of a cheater. And. I don't know if his culture is to. Be monogamous. Or he can have as many wives as he can afford. I know Portia I don't know girl but you're doing too much I know it ain't none of my business Lord I know it's not and I ain't trying to gossip about you but I'm just a little concerned girl I'm a little concerned all right but all things work together for good to those who love the Lord so Portia if you, you love this man you love the Lord I'm sure if you pray to the Lord he can work it out but just us looking at it just from human eyes and stuff girl we think you crazy I'm like, what made Simon the perfect choice to buy an engagement ring for? But you couldn't do it for Cordell Stewart, which was your previous husband. You didn't do it for uh, Dennis McKinley. And you were trying to make that work. And I'm still trying to figure out how these two are friends. How Dennis McKinley and Simon are friends. It's like, girl, it's like you there... What do you call it? Call girl. You go in between both of them, depending on what size meat you want, and they okay with it. I guess you know, Simon can't get it up, and he said, "Well, go on to Dennis. I trust him. You love him. We we'll keep it all in the family." Okay. I don't know. It kind of sounds nasty, but you know, I wait. I I wait like that. Go on, tell me. Is that what it is? You get your playtime with um Dennis, and then you go get your romantic side with Simon. I don't know. It seems like it's an open marriage or it's an open relationship at this point. But let's enough of my sidebar. Let's get on into this article this lady wrote. Um, I guess. Uh, excuse me, guys. It's by Victoria. I ain't going to try to mess up her last name. But it is of African descent. And uh, she wrote it today. 
Don't know what time, but she published it with Essence Magazine. Okay. It goes on as her title she's given us. Portia Williams Bucks Tradition buys her fiancé an engagement ring. Okay. And not just any ring. Not And not just any engagement ring. But one from Tiffany and Company. Hello. She chilling out the big books for Simon. Big books, man. Okay. Her daddy. Okay. Zaddy. That's how they get down and say it. Because I wanted to do a story on Monique. Talking about her husband is, is raising her and teaching her. So that's why she called her husband daddy. I'm like, woo, child. Shame and a scandal. Shame and a scandal. Whew. But anyway, that's another whole story for another whole day. If I decide to do it, I hadn't quite felt if I really want to get into it or not. Because Monique is too old to be acting like she ain't got no sense. Okay? But anyway, because you don't lay up with your daddy. You know what I'm saying? You just don't lay up with your daddy. So I just don't know where she coming from. But let me take a, a, a swig of water. Getting kind of hot. I wonder did her ring come from Tiffany? That ring right there. And it seemed like that's on her. Seemed like that was on her right hand, not her left hand. But anyway, just see what it is. But um this engagement ring she gave Simon, that's on his left hand. So I don't know. Some people in the streets of the YouTube world, they were trying to say maybe Portia and Simon are already married. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's not traditional. Um to give the man an engagement ring. It's something that's come on the scene maybe a few few years down the road. You know, they wanted to let a man have an engagement ring because they felt like what we do, what we get, what you get, what you get prepared to take care of this young lady the rest of your life. That's the whole tradition of marriage. You know, man, protector, provider, okay? Oh, but anyway, we ain't going to go into that. Because everybody have their own way of looking at marriage these days. And, you know, this is too much. But let's go on into the story. It says, Real Housewives of Atlanta star Portia Williams is so head over heels in love with fi uh, fiancé Simon Gabadia that she decided to forego tradition engagement protocol and buy him his own fancy engagement ring. Okay? I'm like, Oh, I think Portia is head over heels thinking she's going to be a real princess in the American world through his world. And she's going to be treated like a princess and all this, this and that going on. But I think she need to lend her ears and understanding and talk with Lisa Ray because she called herself marrying into an African type culture um well off family too that's supposed to have princes and queens and all that and she thought she was gonna be a queen but it was another whole story going on with that so of course you, you might want to talk to lisa right she could probably clue you in okay but i don't even know if that would help because you could lead a horse to water but you can't make them drink that's the same with portia she'll fight you tooth and nail if she thinks she's right about something because we've seen her we thought we were seeing her mature but with this latest episode of her possibly Taking Fallon's husband, that that kind of you know it rubbed me the wrong way. But that's another video for another day. We're gonna stay on this uh, her breaking tradition and giving uh, her fiance a ring. Okay, going back to the article says why well, hanging out with best friend for life, Real Housewives of Atlanta regular Shamil Moore and her husband Gerald, and we ain't gonna even mess up his name. Whose birthday they were all celebrating. Video was captured of Simon trying on a beautiful band and Portia handing over her American Express card at the Tiffany and Counting Company show in shopping Las Vegas to pay for it. After telling the associate whatever he wants, she got emotionally tearing up on camera. What you trying to be like, T.I. Now, come on. You can have whatever you like. You can have whatever you like. That's what you're doing. You, you pick. Girl. First it was Cordell Pimpion. Then it was Dennis uh, messing up all on you. Now you giving your American Express card. You, girl, you know you got to pay that card off at the end of the month. I had one. I know. You want to keep your credit and you want it to keep going up. You must pay it off. It's not a card that goes over to the next month. Okay. So, uh, I don't know, Portia. I don't know, girl. You need to save that money for your daughter. And her schooling and everything that she probably won't. You don't need to be, but girl, you don't even know this man. Y'all ain't even made it to the altar yet. But then again, you celebrating in Las Vegas, and that's where a lot of 
how oh, craziness goes on and people get married at those little church stops or whatever and then they think about it when they get back home so okay we got to get this adult we were just lusting excuse me lusting at each other wanting each other we just was in a weird type of mood everything was fun 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 but when you know the smoke clears everything are dried up we we're sober we ain't gonna make it <laughs> we ain't gonna make it oh shit you should have that mess with dennis okay but i don't know why you put so much stock in simon just because he's supposed to be a millionaire and a, a, a heir to the throne or something over there in Nigeria, I'm really not sure. I'm not sure, Portia, if you're really reading this correctly. But it's your life. You keep it moving. Keep it. Keep it status quo. But going back to the video, it, um, or the commentary, it says, "I said yes, and so did he." So I mean, are you giving us cryptic messages that y'all got married? You, he said yes. You said yes. So y'all did it. Y'all jumped the broom. I don't know. Is it made just for television? We're going to see it later on on your pursuit to happiness or pursuit of Portia. You know, what? what is what's going to happen, girl? What's going to happen? But anyway, I'm going back to the article. Um, let's see. Oh, I kind of, wait, it kind of skipped on me. Okay. I said yes, and so did he. She shared her followers uh, she shared with her followers in her caption on her Instagram account for one of the clips. Yes, we both are profession. Well, yes, we both are professing our love and reminded every day or every time we look down at our left hand that thus uh, uh, sink in is a promise and love that will last a lifetime. Uh, we will be husband and wife and I can't freaking wait. Love you, poo. And I'm like, Portia, if you can't freaking wait, why don't you just go on and jump the broom? You don't have to have another wedding, okay? You don't have to have all that, girl. And then with their culture, you can have mess around and have three or four weddings, okay? And then it may not work out. And then what, what do you have to show for it, girl? Because you're going to be like, Cynthia, ain't nobody going to want to see you get married no more. This ain't Elizabeth Taylor where you just marry until you get it right. Get it, get it till you get it right. uh, uh, uh. Get it, get it, get it till you get it right. That's what Aretha Frank was saying in one of her songs, but girl, please. But anyway, if you want to go on Portia's Instagram account, she got Shamia up there. Somebody did say Shamia and, and Portia was at odds with each other because uh, Shamia signed up to do, or signed on to Candice Project uh, with OLG, and she's going to be featured over there. And, um, Porsche had waited too long and then introduced the idea for Shamia to appear on her show, which is the spinoff for In Pursuit of Porsche or something to that degree. So I'm like, can't, can't Shamia be on both of them? Or is that dipping in the same pool or something? Hell, I don't know. I mean, it's still Bravo is producing it. So I guess she, she can't be spread thin like that. And then still be a friend of the show. I don't know, but Shamir got it going on. She If she can get away with it, she's having her own little friend to be showing up uh, with the cast on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Then she's going to help Candy out. And then she's going to try to help Porsche out with her show. Girl, that's a businesswoman right there. Now, I think she used to be a Falcons cheerleader. Or somebody chilly or some NFL team. But that's not here nor there. I'm getting off a to topic. But um, it goes on to say this grand display follows the couple's recent travels to Benin City of Nigeria. Where Simon is from and where sh she met his family including his mother. Things are clearly as serious as they can get between these two. Okay and if you go on her Instagram account you'll see uh, Simon's mother. And whatnot, and Portia just eating it up like um, is she the last piece of meat on the face of the earth? But anyway, um, Portia and Simon first went public with their relationship at the same time they announced their engagement, which was back in May. Portia then showing off her uh beautiful ring, understood that people would think she was moving too fast, but made it clear that she was happier than ever. Our relationship began a month ago. Yes, we are crazy in love. She wrote at the time. I know it's fast, but we are living life each day to its fullest. I choose happiness every morning and every night, tuning out all the negative energy and only focus on positive wishes. We makes, uh, He makes me so happy. 
I women. He makes me so happy and to me that is what matters most. Positivity is what the couple moved in and asked for as they shared their big news, especially with people bringing up his ex formal uh real housewives personality Fallon Gobadia. At the time, they were not yet officially divorced. I like to seize this opportunity to thank every well wisher of Portia and I, uh, whether via phone, text, DM, you affirm my belief that finding love is possible for everyone who gen- genuinely seeks one. He wrote on his. He wrote on his Instagram at the time, getting married again was never a question in my mind, but when did I did not expect to be blessed with the mate so soon? The interesting thing about life is that it is an individual journey. Portia and I, with the support of our loved ones, have chosen to travel together as one and spread love and positive positivity to our community, which is in desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best versions of ourselves now just a sidebar just sidebar okay where did the counseling come in uh that you need to have done in the state of georgia when you get married have y'all have y'all went to any counseling classes to see you know are y'all gonna make it or do y'all have the tools and the skills to work through difficult times and and, and issues you know like for di- infidelity uh you know disagreements or are y'all gonna work together or y'all gonna be a solid team you know it's money power prestige uh running after the dollars is it gonna change you all's behavior you know we're gonna have prenups are we gonna be just trusting you know what what are the dynamics you know have we sat down and really thought about this or are we just in those clouds and we just seeing what we want to see and not really looking at the red flags flying over y'all like it's a you know, a tornado turn, turning around. Y'all just, you know, keep going in the other direction. But anyway, that's just my sidebar. It wasn't in this article. Going back to the article, it says, um, okay, we chose uh, to, uh, positivity of our community, which is a desperate need of positive and healthy images of the best versions of ourselves. We traveled this road not lightly, considering we have been in sync in relationships have thou have thought us to want and do better for ourselves i asked i asked her to marry me because we checked all of each other's boxes and then some we have done an individual work to sustain a healthy relationship and i stand next to her proud that we found each other what we have is what we wish every single one of you out there happiness so when i asked she said yes that is all that matter. Thank you again for your love and support. Truly appreciate it. Love wins. Now the couple are looking forward to saying I do. Uh, which accordingly to Portia will happen in 2022. So that's what Portia, you know, I always mess up. Instead of her going, if it's that tight, if it's right, go on and do it. Go on and do it. Just like you surprised us with this hella fine way of presenting it to the public and to your fans, followers, or supporters. You know, you, right now we still can't get over, you know, Fallon first being married to him, then divorced, whether she had infidelity or not. I mean, is that a, a is that a peace breaker? I mean, because what if you want to have sleep with uh, Dennis? You get a, a, a craziness and you want to sleep with Dennis. Is, is he going to say, I don't want to be married to you again, Portia? Y'all ain't going to be married in less than a year, six months, something like that. Girl, what's going on? I mean, if he didn't like Fallon cheating on him, allegedly, and he got rid of her, you know, what's the odds of he cheating on you, Porsche? Are you going to be so understanding and want to sit there and, and be in it for the long haul? Because, you know, people cheat in relationships. They cheat in marriages. And, you know, some are strong enough to withstand all of that and, and be forgiven. Whoever party, you know, uh, made the inf- inf- infraction and damage the uh, relationship you know some stay in it and they grow uh and they mature uh i ain't gonna say they forget it i ain't gonna say that now but they just seem to put on more shelves of protection and just long as it's not happening again and again and again maybe there's something you know <laughs> they can work through but then you have those out there they be cheating cheating, cheating like ti be on his wife but they have an open marriage side that was unfair for me to use him but uh some people out there that you know can take it and some people can't but i was just like i thought it was just very 
interesting how Portia just keep jumping. I'm like, is it for television, Portia? Because now I'm, I'm damn confused. I'm just, I'm just, uh, you know, F me up in my mind. Because I'm like, I was there for you. I thought you wanted to do something. You know, you wanted to have a great father figure for your daughter. Even though she has a great father, he's just not good with holding on to a relationship. At, at any means necessary. At any cost. Okay. Um... I, I, I don't know. I don't know, Portia. I don't know. I don't know, girl. I don't know. But anyway, that's all I have for this video, guys. I had to just break it down to you. Like, what in the world? Pennies and coins. She collecting up there. Shopping at Tiffany. And since she wasn't even using her pennies and coins that she said that she had got out the bank. She's using a credit card. See that? See? That, that, that's that portion of that. And medical special. You got to pay them off. It ain't in my girl. You got to pay them off. And then you talk about you don't want to come back to uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta because you don't want to face the heat. Uh -uh, you put yourself in this kitchen and you made your own meal. Now we are here to eat with you. <laughs> we here to be served up so we can sit and ascertain the foolishness you have brought to this table. But we're going to eat it. We're going to eat it. And you can't run. You can't run and hide, honey. And you can't edit out what you want to edit out because then that'll be boring television. So, Bravo's still going to have a hand in trying to sit, show the worst part of you uh, as possible or the worst scenario they can put you in that you have to sit up there and try to get yourself out of. Okay? But that's all I got, guys. If y'all like more videos like this, you like it, love it, and you want to have more, please don't hesitate to share, like, and subscribe to the channel. And I will crank them out for you to partake of. But that's all I got. Y'all get down in them comments. Y'all tell me what y'all felt about Portia using her heart on her money. And she, I don't know if she got fired from Dish Nation or they just wanted to let her go. They didn't agree with the contractual uh, monetary amount that they wanted to continue to keep her as a host on the show. I don't know how it is, but she knows she ain't over there at Dish Nation. And then she trying to be half ass, thinking she's gonna be a princess over there. And things can turn. They can turn. One it, one day it'd be one day. One day it'd be good, the next day it'd be hell. You know what I'm saying? Support you can't just bank on this man got XYZ. I mean, have you been paying his taxes? Is he up on them taxes, Portia? Girl, because finance and, and, and lack of communication will end a marriage right up in its tracks. Hell, it'll tell for a relationship faster than quicksand can come and suck you under the ground, girl. But that's all I have for this video, and I will see you next time. Good night.